Hello everyone, I'm Lucy, and welcome to Lucyverse. If you've ever tried running a website or app on cheap shared hosting, you already know the pain. Slow loading, limited resources, and random crashes when traffic spikes. But today, I'll show you how to buy VPS hosting step by step, so you can run websites and apps like a pro, faster, safer, and more scalable. I'll also compare some of the best VPS hosting providers in 2025, explain the differences between shared, VPS, and cloud hosting, and help you pick the right plan for your needs and budget. So watch till the end because I'll reveal my number one recommended VPS host that offers top performance even for beginners. 1. What is VPS hosting? Before we buy VPS hosting, let's quickly understand what it actually is. VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. It's basically your own mini-server inside a bigger server. Isolated, powerful, and customizable. Think of shared hosting as living in a dorm. You share resources with hundreds of people. If someone misbehaves or overloads the system, everyone suffers. VPS hosting is like renting your own apartment. Full privacy, dedicated CPU, RAM, and control. You can install whatever you want. WordPress, Node.js, Django, Android backend APIs, anything. So if you're running business sites, e-commerce stores, or mobile app servers, VPS hosting is what you need. Why you need VPS hosting? Here's why upgrading to VPS makes a big difference. Speed. Faster page loads because you get dedicated resources. Scalability. Easily upgrade CPU or RAM as your traffic grows. Security. Your site is isolated from others, reducing risks. Root access. You can control everything. Install software, configure firewalls, run scripts, host APIs. It's your full server. And the best part? It's no longer expensive. Many providers now offer VPS plans starting from just $5 to $10 a month, which is crazy for that power. How to choose a good VPS host. Before we buy one, let's look at what matters when picking the right VPS hosting provider. 1. Uptime guarantee. You want at least 99.9%. 2. Data center locations. Pick servers close to your target audience, for example, US-based servers for American visitors. 3. SSD storage. Way faster than old HDDs. 4. Scalability and pricing. Can you upgrade easily when your project grows? 5. Customer support. 24-7 live chat is a must for beginners. 6. Ease of use. Some providers have easy dashboards. Others require SSH skills. Once you check these, you're ready to buy your VPS confidently. Top VPS Hosting Providers 2025 Comparison Now let's go over the best VPS hosting providers in 2025. All reliable, tested, and perfect for websites or apps. 1. Equals Hostinger VPS. Super affordable and beginner-friendly. Their dashboard makes setup very easy. Plus, you get full root access and SSD storage. Servers in USA, UK, Europe, and Asia. Plans start around $5 per month. 2. Equals Vulture Cloud Compute. Loved by developers. You can deploy a VPS in 60 seconds in any region worldwide. They're known for stability and performance, starting from $6 per month. Great for app backends and APIs. 3. Equals Digital Ocean Droplets. Trusted by startups and developers. Their UI is clean, with pre-built images for WordPress, Node.js, Django, etc. Plans start around $7 to $8 per month. Bonus mention, Linode and HostGator VPS are also solid if you prefer more traditional support. I'll link all of these in the description below. Check which one fits your budget and project. Step-by-step, step, how to buy VPS hosting. All right, let's actually buy VPS hosting now. Step-by-step. Step. step one, go to your chosen provider's site. For example, let's use Hostinger. <laughs> Click VPS hosting in the top menu. Step two, choose your plan. 
For beginners, the lowest or second lowest plan is perfect. You can upgrade any time later. Step 3. Select your server location closest to your main audience, like United States or Europe. Step 4. Create an account and complete the payment. Most accept cards, PayPal, or crypto. Step 5. Once payment is done, you'll get access to your control panel. That's where you can manage your VPS, reinstall OS, check performance, etc. It's that simple. Setup takes 5 to 10 minutes max. How to deploy a website or app. Now, let's talk about what you can actually do with your VPS. You can host a WordPress website by installing it through the dashboard or manually via SSH. You can deploy web apps or APIs using Node.js, Django, Flask, or PHP. You can even host multiple websites by adding subdomains and configuring Nginx or Apache. VPS hosting gives you that freedom. It's like having your own mini data center. Pro tips to save money and boost speed. Quick tips before you go live. Enable automatic backups. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later. Use a CDN like Cloudflare to speed up delivery worldwide. Install a free SSL certificate. Most hosts give one. Use Ubuntu 22.04 LTS or newer for best performance. And always monitor your usage. If your app grows, upgrade before hitting limits. These small steps can make your VPS run smoother and faster. VPS versus Sloud versus shared hosting. What's actually different? Before you buy, let's clear up one big confusion people often have. What's the real difference between shared, VPS, and cloud hosting? Shared hosting is the cheapest and easiest, but also the weakest. Dozens or hundreds of websites share one single server. If one site suddenly gets a traffic spike, your site slows down too. It's good only for beginners or small blogs. VPS hosting, which we're talking about today, is the middle ground. You still share a big server, but your part is virtually separated. That means your CPU, RAM, and storage are your own. So you get the power and freedom of a dedicated server, but at a much lower cost. Cloud hosting goes even further. Your website or app runs across multiple connected servers instead of just one. That means better uptime and automatic scaling, but it's a bit more complex and usually costs more. So, if you want control and performance without the headache of full cloud management, VPS hosting is the perfect balance. What specs should you choose for VPS? Now let's talk about VPS specs, because many beginners get confused when they see terms like 1V CPU, 2GB RAM, or 40GB SSD. Let's simplify it. vCPU, virtual CPU. This is your processing power. One vCPU is usually enough for one or two websites, but if you're running a web app or multiple sites, go for two or more. RAM. Memory is crucial for speed. For WordPress or small apps, 2GB RAM is fine. For medium or high traffic sites, go for 4GB or 8GB. Storage, SSD or NVMe. Always choose SSD or NVMe storage. It's way faster and improves database speed dramatically. Bandwidth. Check if your plan includes unlimited or high bandwidth. For global visitors, that matters a lot. Operating system. Use Ubuntu 22.04 LTS or newer for maximum stability and easy tutorials online. Remember, you can always start small and scale up later. Most VPS hosts let you upgrade instantly with one click. No migration needed. Bonus, earn money using your VPS. Here's a bonus most people don't realize. Your VPS can also help you earn money. If you're a freelancer or developer, 
You can host multiple client websites on one VPS and charge them monthly, like $10 to $20 each. Even with 10 clients, that's $100 to $200 passive income every month. You can also run your own web apps, portfolio sites, or say ass tools and generate revenue while keeping full control over your backend. Or, if you're into tech tutorials, make videos showing how to set up servers, SSLs, or WordPress on VPS. Those videos often have crazy high RPMs because advertisers love tutorial viewers. So, VPS isn't just hosting. It can literally become a small business if you use it smartly. VPS Hosting Security Tips Before you wrap up, here are quick security tips to protect your VPS. Always change your default SSH port from 22 to something unique. Use strong passwords or SSH keys instead of plain passwords. Enable automatic updates so your system stays patched. Install a free firewall like UFW or CSF for extra protection. And make regular backups. One small mistake can cost everything. Security is boring until you lose your data, so protect your VPS from day one. So that's how you buy VPS hosting for your website or app in 2025. All the trusted hosting links with current discounts are listed below. Check them out and pick what fits your project. If you found this tutorial helpful, drop a like, subscribe for more tech and hosting guides, and comment which provider you're using. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.